Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. What the hell happened on the screen there? Anyway, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. Welcome back to another match day vlog. And we've a massive one this evening where St. Patrick's Athletic will take on Bohemians at Richmond Park in Inchicore. Second against third in the table. Last game they played out, Daily Mint was a 3 2 win for Pats, which was um, a very interesting game of football. It was a 3 2 at half time? I can't remember. It might have been 3 1 at half time. Bowles got one in the second half, I think. Uh, we were there anyway, but yeah, really interesting game. Um, sold out, going to be great atmosphere, the game for both sets of fans. Um, you get the feeling whoever wins can maybe put a bit of a challenge Shamrock over, so we still think our favourites, I still think they're favourites, but um, it's going to be interesting to see how both teams approach the game and see how both teams uh, take the game. Obviously, Pats would be delighted that Joe Redmond is back and uh, looked pretty decent last week, I must say. Um, he's back at the back and his duel with uh, Afalabi is going to be very interesting to watch in all seriousness isn't it though Afalabi scores seven games in a row will that come to an end um, no you know I think him and Clark are the key players I think for um, notifications <laughs> him and Clark are the key players for Bowles I've watched them the last few weeks a lot and um, they link up very well don't they Billy to be fair yeah and... they're very good together <laughs> I think for Pats, Joe Redmond's going to be key in knitting that defence together and, uh, you know, the midfield battle as well. Like, you know, Chris Forrester's always key, to be fair, isn't he, as well? But Murphy and McManus could be an interesting battle should they both play as well, the two teenagers as well. So, um, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot in this game to be fascinated about as well. But, uh, Billy, what's your prediction? I think it'll be 2-1 Pats. I think they'll nick it in the last 10 minutes. Oh, so you're going to say score with me? I don't want to say it, but like, you have yeah. to be honest. That's what you really think, fair enough. I think Pats will probably just about do enough as well, I think. I don't know, maybe more solid at the back um, than Bowes, but Kirsch is back at right back now, and uh, obviously Joe in there as well. I think Pats are a bit more solid. I think they might have slight edge in midfield as well, but uh, attacking areas, Bowes might have the slight edge, to be honest, in the front three compared to Pats. But we'll see how it goes. I think Pats will win 2-1 as well. See who's in there. You getting nervous? I'd be nervous, why are you?
So guys, I finished in Patrick's like nil, Bohemians nil. I wasn't expecting a nil nil to be honest, were you though? No, because Pat's hit the crossbar like two times, like 15 seconds. And then about 10 minutes later, I should say, mm. um, Akintunde hits the crossbar. Yeah, and just after header. those chances that Pat's hit the, the, the bar and the post, basically, I think it was Lonergan and, um, and Carty. Redmond had a header, he probably feel he should have scored. It was a weird game because I thought... First half, Pats were slightly better than Bowes. Um, probably create more opportunities in the game. I thought in the second half, Bowes played the better football. But weirdly, Pats, up to the Akintunde chance, had the better opportunities as such. Yeah. But I thought Bowes played the better football in the second half. I think James Clark was very good in the second half. He played yeah. well. Um, it's a weird result because it doesn't do team either team any good or it doesn't really hinder them, if that makes sense, either. Like, Shamrock Rovers were held to a late goal tonight against Shelburne, but... Um, it's hard to see anyone really, unless Derry City win their games in hand, really taking advantage. But I thought it was a weird one because um, I talked to Bowles defence could be got at, and I still think that. But I don't know. I think Pats in attack, there's something just missing there. Talk tactically, Pats play a lot of long balls, and often a lot of aimless long balls. And you're looking at Carty, and you're going, "How is he expected to get that?" Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's harsh. He he does well in a lot of games, um, or a lot of things he does in terms of holding up the ball and bringing people into the game, drawing fouls. But you can't just hoof it long and hope the Carty does something with it either. To be honest with you, um, he probably should have scored in the first half. Actually, shouldn't he? Yeah. He had a great chance. He lacks composure in front of the goal a little bit though. But um, 
Pats did look better in Lonergan and actually Mealy came on, didn't they? they mm-hmm. Added a bit of something to them. But I did think Bowes, did you think that in yeah, the second in the half? Second they half. played the better actual football. They got the ball down, tried to play and yeah. um, and went through the lines. I thought they played the better football. We were creating an awful lot, but Pats defended well at the same time. Yeah. James Clark was very good in the second half. He was driving mm. a lot. Mm. Mm. Afalabi didn't get his goal, did he? No. But um, yeah, look, it was a great atmosphere and um, it was a good occasion, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Who were we giving on the match to? Joe Redmond. Yeah, probably Joe Redmond, I yeah. think. Clark was good for Bowles as well, but I thought Redmond dealt with Afalabi very, very well. He understood that Afalabi doesn't really have a right foot, if I'm honest, and, um, you know, he dealt with him very well and, and led by example. Probably should have scored a header. Um, yeah. But even though it's weird, I thought Bowles played the better football in the second half. Pass generally had the better opportunities in the game, but overall, I think a draw was a fair result, yeah. but... Um, uh, it didn't feel like a nil-nil. I thought it'd be a 1-1. It yeah. felt like a 1-1. It didn't quite feel like a nil-nil. But anyway, guys, let us know what you think of the comments. What should the people do? Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to push that bell notification button for more videos. Cheers. See you later. Bye.